Okay, so let's take a look at how we can effectively manage, view, and organize your contacts on LinkedIn. Now you can see that I do have a free account, so all of this is available by going to contacts and my connections. Now, first off, I do want to give some kudos to the LinkedIn engineers here. Fantastic design, the interface is extremely smooth and easy to use. The features are pretty good as well. You can see that on the left hand side you're given the options to filter your contacts as well as work with some of the tags. Very similar to those options in the advanced search features creating some continuity now across the site. Your results are displayed for you in the center and the biggest advancement here uh, on, on or searching your your connections is that I can choose specific profiles and those results are then that specific profile is then displayed on the right hand side that's significant because I one do not have to leave my contacts page and two I can now send a message I can edit some notes I can add tags I get the contact information extremely valuable in the in the way of saving me time and not leaving my uh, my contacts page to search for more profiles now with that being said there are some setbacks although the possibilities really have grown tremendously for recruiters uh, with the tagging system you're able to filter out and well, tag and filter out uh, your search is now based on geography uh, skill sets location technology requisition regions hiring managers it's really up to you how you do it but there are some setbacks here Number one, the generic tags that LinkedIn provides are not really all that accurate. At least in my case, they were not accurate. I have a lot of untagged profiles, which then seem not to get picked up in the actual search filters. So some work needs to be done there, the majority of it by you, by going through searching your candidates and tagging them appropriately so that you can effectively work your network that you built over the last couple of years. Now you have the opportunity to go back, tag them yourself, group them yourself, and start to build little talent communities and effectively reach out to them in, in groups of 50 and direct them to some jobs or get into some conversations with these people. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the search features within our connections although the tagging and filtering system mimics that of the advanced search. Building your own search to search your connections does not seem to work very smoothly or at least in an advanced fashion. So I recommend staying extremely basic. Let's just say we're searching for uh, we'll say Cisco. I spell that correctly. We'll say Cisco and I see that I have 11 people in my network from the company Cisco or Cisco systems. Now I know that's inaccurate but the majority of my people are untagged. So I have to go through my network and tag them. Now let's take a look at some of the options once I run my search how I can tag them and how I can reach out to these this specific set of candidates. Now number one I can individually select profiles or I can select all. In this case I'm just going to select all and similar to the old way of connecting with your connections you can send 50 messages at one time I can do that by sending a message or I can edit tags and I'm just going to choose Cisco and I'm going to hit save and on the left hand on the left hand side you'll notice that I now have 11 profiles within Cisco so as I'm running searches I can simply click the tag Cisco and I can then see the profiles that I previously tagged under the tag Cisco. As a recruiter, you've got to get creative. Tag them by skill set, by location, by uh, specific region, specific technology, or specific projects that your hiring managers may need. Search these people, connect with them, add them into your tags, and that will give you the ability to quickly reach out to connections as needed to help fill the positions. The last piece that I did want to show you here is recent activity and this is one that I think a lot of people might skip over. If you click recent activity you're given two options new connections and connections with new connections. Do the math here you can figure it out yourself it's a great way to get into your connections connections and make more connections uh, in a relevant 
time-efficient fashion.